Admiral Penn was owed a huge debt for his services to the Crown during the English-Dutch War. During that war, the Crown found themselves cash poor. Admiral Penn had a huge number of troops under his command. He saw to their commissary and their payroll out of pocket, and it was 16,000 pounds sterling, ultimately, that was owed to the Penn family. Unfortunately for the Crown, he lost his head to Oliver Cromwell in the Roundheads during the English Civil War. So Charles I couldn't make good on the debt. After the Glorious Restoration, after Oliver Cromwell has died, the English populace decides, while they enjoy a parliamentary system, they also want to see a king back. So it is Admiral Penn's fleet that brings the son, Charles II, back to England. Charles II is not able to square the debt with Admiral Penn before, unfortunately, Admiral Penn passes away. So the debt has passed to the two sons. It is one of the great ironies in American history that this great Quaker experiment is to settle a military debt.